five magicians go head to head to find out who is better than the rest. Oh, shit, look. The stakes are deadly because the loser will face a trick that has killed or injured magicians in the past. Shut up. I feel sick. This is killer magic. Can we get medical in? Dear magicians. Hello. This week's killer trick is the infamous bullet catch. Ooh. Over the years, the bullet catch has been responsible for the deaths of 12 magicians. Could be 13. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This trick is so dangerous, it's been banned in the UK. But we've circumvented the law by using paintballs, travelling at 200 miles an hour to shoot a magician in the face. Who needs teaspoons, eh? Not good, Ben, not good. Pretty insane, <laughs> the idea of a bullet catch. What they need now is a theme to base their tricks on. Your challenge is to perform magic on the theme of food. Ooh. Yes. You get to mix food and magic. That's so me sorted. I'm quite happy about that. These brave magicians are performing in front of real people. No stooges, no camera tricks, no funny business, just magic. Ooh. Only jazz to go. But will she do enough to steer clear of this week's killer magic trick? I plan to do magic to someone who doesn't know I'm doing magic to them. It's a bit mischievous, it's a bit edgy. Um, I'm hoping to get some really genuine reactions to more of a social situation, which should be good fun. <laughs> this eligible young man called Adam thinks he's here to have dinner with Jazz. Now she's told the waiter not to bring any actual food because her trick is all about eating more unusual things, all of which, by the way, are real. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fine. I'm so hungry. <laughs> Is it fine, Adam? Because it looked to me like she just bit the top off a rose. <laughs> so are you single, by the way? Me? Yeah. Why? Are you interested? <laughs> so how much of Jazz's weird and magical behaviour can this chap stand before he decides she's a psycho and does a runner? Sort of... Please don't eat the grass. I'm really hungry. If they brought the food, it wouldn't be so bad. <laughs> You think I'd be all right? No, I don't think you should do that at all. Oh, will I? Sorry. I just, I just really can't help it. It's one of my little quirks. This is not cutting your mouth to pieces. It's all right, actually. My bag here is all right. I'm not going to say that. I'll see you in a moment. No checking out my arse. <laughs> As Jazz goes off to the ladies, Adam can't help but share his concerns with the waiter. She's eating that. I'm sorry. I ate the rose, the flower, and the glass. I've never said anything like it. I'll pay, I'll pay for the glass. Ah, oh, what a gent. This man has nerves of steel, or maybe it's just been a while. Either way, he's stuck it out despite Jazz's unusual behaviour. Maybe this will put Adam off his charm offensive. I might do. I'm just so hungry. I'm just so hungry. It's crazy thing I'm saying. I'm so sorry. I'm just really hungry. Let's hope he's got the number of a local cab company on that phone. It tastes really, really bad, actually. That's really not doing... I'm surprised. That's really not even doing it for me. Well, she's got one more trick planned. Let's see how he fancies a bit of dinnertime levitation. Pass out. Fucking hell. I don't know, it just feels so weird. Like, I just can't deal with it. Just... Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. <sighs> And he's off. Fair enough. Don't leave me! Lovely girl. She seemed lovely. Well, there is people that's into some things like that, so I thought I'd give her a chance. The flower, the glass, and the plate combination. I had to leave then. I couldn't, I couldn't take that. I think he freaked out. I'm not having any of this. This is so weird. What's going on? Well, it's really difficult to do magic and actually make it feel like you're not putting on a show. That's really, really hard. As magicians, as soon as we pick up any object, everybody can see that we're used to handling things. So she did it very well. 